try and keep this video short. I'm just going to do a, a quick overview. I've got the uh, new blind controller sorted out and working. By way of a recap, um, I spend quite a bit of time in my study and um, I've got vertical blinds across the window and um, getting at the cords was quite difficult to do, uh, to open and close them. Uh, so I made a controller based on a, a little Arduino board and a couple of stepper motors that would open and close the blinds depending on the brightness of the sun and um, also close them at night and rotate the slats depending on the angle of the sun which kind of worked, it was okay, um, it was a bit ugly, it was uh, slow, it was uh, not as quiet as it could have been and uh, the slats only had kind of four positions, they were either fully closed or fully open or 45 degrees that way or 45 degrees the other way and I had no way of controlling it um, remotely. So I finally got around to um, doing something a bit better with it. Um, I made a prototype that I showed you in the last video uh, based on, um, on some new step stepper drivers which uh, make the motors almost silent and an ESP32 module which I can integrate with Home Assistant. So the prototype now looks like this. And I printed, uh, I 3D printed new um, parts to hold the motors and, uh, and I made a new uh, box for the controller. That now looks like this, which is a bit neater than it was before. So rather than using three light dependent resistors pointing at different angles to find the angle of the sun, uh, this one actually uses the azimuth of the sun and the angle of my house relative to uh, relative to north if you like. Um, so I get the relative angle of the sun on the window and then this one actually tracks that angle and rotates the sun, uh, rotates the slats accordingly. So rather than just having four positions, um, it's kind of almost infinitely variable. So without more ado, um, this is what happens at sunset and I'll leave the um, audio on the uh, video track as well so you can see how quiet it now is. I have to be careful how, how things actually move. Um, I can't rotate the slats when they're when the blinds are fully open. Um, it breaks the blind. So basically, the blinds always have to be closed before the slats are rotated. And what happens at sunset is that the uh, the there are in, there are physical end stops, one on the rail and one on the slat cord. Um, so at sunset, the blinds close until that end stop triggers and then the slats rotate until that end stop triggers. So that gives me a datum point and then all movement is taken from those datum points. So then at sunrise, this is what happens. So first the slats rotate to the open position and then the blinds um, open in relation to the window. And then when there's bright sun, 
Um, and this is what happens. First off, the blinds um, close across the window, and then the slats will rotate depending on what direction the sun is in. So the slats are always at 90 degrees to the sun. While the sun uh, remains bright, there's a, a, there's a light level sensor as well. And that's what determines whether the blinds are open or closed across the window. Um, because I want to have as much natural daylight in this room as possible. So if it's an overcast day, then the blinds will stay open. If it's a bright sunny day, then that's when they close and when the slats rotate. So when the sun is uh, bright, the blinds will be closed, the slats will be rotated so that they're 90 degrees to the sun and it will track that angle as the sun moves around. The slats continuously rotate accordingly. So this is my light level um, sensor detector, call it what you will. It's another 3D printed part. Um, there's a light dependent resistor in the end and a 3D printed diffuser so it's sensitive to light from any direction. Um, won't go into technical details but it's set in a voltage divider network in such a way that the voltage level increases as the um, light level increases and it's um, tucked away behind the blind so you don't normally see it. When the sun is at 90 degrees to the window the slats are fully closed in that position but they can't rotate the, the slats can be vertically open like that or they can rotate clockwise to be fully closed or anti-clockwise to be fully closed so what happens when the sun is at less than 90 degrees they're rotated that way as it gets to 90 degrees they fully close um, when it's over 90 degrees they actually turn 180 and then they'll continue to rotate the other way so if the sun goes behind a cloud um, and the, the, um, the intensity of the sunlight drops then um, the blinds will open like this first the, the, um, the slats open and then the blinds uncover the window Because I said before, I can't, I mustn't rotate the slats while the blinds are closed, so I always have to rotate the slats first. So it, um, yeah, overall I'm quite pleased with that, it, um, it's a lot quieter, uh, it's infinitely variable, it only has one uh, sensor for light level rather than having three, I don't need to use um, light dependent resistors to track the angle of the sun, I just do that using home, the azimuth from Home Assistant. And I can also control it manually from Home Assistant, I could open and close the blinds or rotate them should I should I want to do that so that's it just a quick overview um, I was gonna explain all about the, the code how I program the ESP module and how I set the automations up and so forth so if, if anybody's interested in that leave a comment below and I'll do a, a part three to this video and explain all that and publish the code if anybody wants to see it so uh, thanks for watching bye